Hi, this is Brad Willis, alias B-W-I-L-L-I-W on Iron Force. Some of you might know me from the Earth Viper Legion, mostly in iOS. I play a little bit of Android, um, and those who don't might know me from the Iron Force fan group. We've got over 5,000 members now. If you're not a part of it, you might consider signing up on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Iron Force fan group. Now, as you may know, there is a fairly significant update to the Iron Force game that's been rolled out to some of the Android players, including me. Not yet on iOS, but it will be soon. There are some changes. I wouldn't... I don't know. It's not earth-shattering, but you will see the differences. Um, let's start with the splash screen. Obviously, it's different, you know. And, and the basic information is there. You've got the top commanders, top legions kind of rolling across the bottom. Don't worry about the, the red icon. That's just an Android thing that doesn't really do anything for you in the lower right-hand corner. Kind of disregard that. You can click on the Facebook friends to see all your Facebook friends. Also click, you see here where it says uh, in the upper right-hand corner, you see I have two notification. Let's just click there and take a quick look. And I that would normally be where my um, where my chat is and my Facebook friends and that sort of thing. So you can just scroll through it. Um, is this give me a second I want to look through this. So here's yeah so here you've got global and let's see if people are being obnoxious like usual. Join Hill in, here and kill everything. Okay. Usually they'll say like something really inflammatory about you know, whatever, some religious minority or what have you. It's kind of a ridiculous place sometimes, but it seems like they're being fairly good tonight, so that is a good thing. Legion chat, nothing going on. Log, nothing going on. In Android, we have a tiny, tiny legion. It's it's really kind of a joke. In, in iOS, we have a pretty good legion. So let's go back for a second. Friends leaderboard, so you see what's going on. The graphics are a little bit sharper, a little bit clearer, so that's a good thing. You can see on this opening splash screen, it's also different. There's a slightly different layout. Um, if you look at the tank in the very center, that doesn't, I'm wondering what that is. Is that supposed to be an S mono or is that a tier six? I'm not really sure. Um, at first I thought it was an S mono, but then I looked at it a little closer and it's got the two cylinders next to the barrel, so maybe that's a new tank coming out. Maybe it's not. Um, if you have an opinion, let me know. I don't know. Uh, leaderboard, showroom, options, all the same. Honor is new. I'm going to click on it. And what that is, is you're going to get cash or diamonds for meeting certain milestones. Okay. So, um, reload master, upgrade barrel to level 25, get 20 grand. Okay. And then at, uh, presumably it'll give me one at 30 and one at 35 and probably $30,000 at, you know, level 30 and maybe 35 or 50 or who knows what. But anyway, you can see that there's a bunch of different achievements. Now, I had, when I first logged on to here, and you should have the same result, there was all kinds of cash waiting, like several hundred thousand dollars. So that's cool. And then from that point forward, meeting new milestones will give you some, like here's a couple at a hundred thousand dollar level. Assassin, destroy 30,000 tanks, you know, next. Or 20,000 one kill shots. Or, and there's some stuff about League of Legions, zero deaths and free for all for 20 times. That doesn't usually happen to me with this tank. Even though it's a good tank, this particular Pavo is not a particularly highly developed Pavo, so you can't really compare it to, you know, in, in, in iOS, I'm, I'm a three star, almost a four star general. I've got a max scorp and I'm working on an S. This, this one, this is still relatively young Pavo, so it gets killed pretty easily. Let's go to the next page. Um, Again, very, very similar. You see you got your garage, armory, pattern, decal, and battle. Uh, when we go to battle, you're going to see a few differences. You will see some. the sights are a little bit different. I've, I've been playing with some very low accuracy since this update. I think it's because I'm recording. I'm not positive. I hope that's the case because normally I'm very accurate. But, um, but you'll see the difference. In fact, let's go right to it. And I'm going to try to pick one that I think will not be as busy because I'd like to have a little bit of a chance to talk. And you see we've got at the top the usual free-for-all team and event. This is the same stuff. It just looks a little different. Again, I, I think I just mentioned the graphics do look better to me. They look a little sharper. Let's click on factory, and it will load. You see this, this splash screen is the same as before. And I'm hoping that we get some, number one, bots, you know, or something easy to shoot at. And number two, I'd like to have a little bit of a chance to talk to you guys. Okay, so I don't know if anyone's running. You can see I'm getting some lag. That has to do most likely with the recording. I'm just going to go over and um, pick up this, this firepower power. And we might just sit here for a minute, see if anyone's around. 
Now you can see um, you have the controls on the left hand side like before. I have the 50% boost above that on the left. You can see the connection status. Looks kind of like a Wi-Fi icon. Oh, there comes somebody. What is that? That is a Dominator bot. Well, let's go ahead and just take him out. And uh, let's zip on over and use the, the, the nitrous oxide. Was that what that is? Nitro? Nitro. Uh, and grab the fire. I should know that. Fire speed power up. Now, you can see, too, that the sighting is different. You know, you can see the, the white uh, lines on there. Now, let's go, go ahead and look through the site. You can see RecordBot coming along. We'll go ahead and hopefully take him out. And you can see a um, different look when you're in scope mode and when you're not in scope mode. Now, who else is around? Here's Dominator Bot going after my cache, which is not cool. Dominator Bot, uncool. Leave me alone. I'll go ahead and use the... Uh, first aid kit. Again, I, I suspect normally I would not have this kind of lag during gameplay. Now again, look on the left, you can see the reload. It looks different than before. And we got, we took him out. And then on the right, um, what is that? Is that the second barrel or what? Oh, well, he took my he took my fire speed power up. So a little bit of a different look. Again, you look at the graphics, you can probably see it's pretty clear. And we should take him out right here. And let's go ahead and... Um, I'm going to go back and zoom back in just for a second. Hopefully no one will shoot at me. What do we have here? Everything is more or less the same. Free for all. I've got a Chinese player and a bunch of bots, so I'm hoping he doesn't shoot at me. You know, I, I want this just to be kind of a bot fest. And, you know, also a game where we can just sit here and talk a little bit during the game. Now, you can see that site kind of moves with me, so I'm still not used to that. I'm still not sure exactly what's going on. Let's take out Wrecker Bot, hopefully. Oh, he took me out. Who took me out? Okay, that was Wrecker Bot. I want to make sure it's not the Chinese guy. So that's fine. You can see the usual shows my diamonds on there, shows that I'm dead. Nothing really new here. Um, let's go back over these tanks. Let's get a little revenge here on this Pavo. And we'll get a little uh, payback here on this fella too. We'll take them both out. And uh, again, the lagginess is almost certainly the recorder. You know, so uh, in fact, I think I'll go and get this, this power up here. And we should get him in a shot or two. Let's try to line it up. Playing through the lag is not easy. But we'll do the best we can. So you see, okay, I see what that is. So I had one um, one, one, uh, one of the barrels. I don't know if you, barrels, let's see if this Chinese guy, okay, he didn't shoot at me. Good for him. Probably a good decision. Even though, even though this is a pretty young Pavo, I can still do some damage with it. And he's not a super strong tank, I would assume. Let's go ahead and line up a scope on the Savage Bot. Normally I don't use a scope quite as much, but again, because I'm getting so much lag, it, uh, it definitely is helpful. Okay, so yeah, those, those uh, hash marks correspond to whether I have one round or two rounds ready. Let's go ahead, we have 13 seconds, see if we can get rid of this guy here, Savage Bot, and should take him out in one more shot with about zero seconds left, I assume. Three seconds left. That'll probably pretty much be it. We'll just let it run out here. So, you know, we got 11 kills on that, not too bad. Again, from I can't tell how it's going to come out on the video. From my screen, it looks a lot sharper and clearer, so that's good. I'm, I think the gameplay will probably be a little bit better once I'm not using the recorder. And you see the daily challenge. This all looks identical to before. A uh, little bit different look on the loot, but it's not really a big deal. You know, critical hits, kills, deaths, etc. Critical hit. I can't remember if it showed that before. It probably did. I'm just not really sure. So um, the changes are, are minor and subtle. Um, the main thing is the splash screen as you first uh, log on. Again, is that a tier 6 or is it not? I don't really know, but it does look different. It looks fairly good. The honor uh, setup is kind of nice. You know, obviously anytime you're getting free gems and free cash, that is definitely good. And, and the, the clarity seems to be a little better. And, of course, you've got a little bit different control layout, but not much different. A little bit different sighting and that sort of thing. So there's nothing really dramatic going on here, but it does seem to me so far like it is a bit of an improvement. You know, I think the game's going to look a little bit better. But, uh, and, and I collected, as I said, several, you know, a bunch of gems and several hundred thousand dollars, maybe maybe two or three hundred thousand at least when the first time I logged in so it was nice to have a little bit of cash there especially since I don't play Android that much I can definitely use the cash for the upgrades so I think I'm gonna wrap this up that is your review on the updated version of Iron Force does seem so far like a subtle improvement it's not a night and day improvement but it does seem like they've tweaked it a little bit and made it a little better and uh, that's nice to see that they're working on that and trying to improve the game 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. I do appreciate your time. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on the remarks section here in YouTube. And we will see you on the battlefield playing Iron Force.